And finally, Galicia to him meant countless Jews in the villages and small towns dressed from a bygone era and speaking a strange jargon, faintly reminiscent of German. My stepfather called them Städtel or Kaftan Jews, or simply Galician Jews, and he made no pretense of the fact that he felt nothing for them but repulsion and contempt. Merely the mentioning of Galicia aroused anti-Semitic reactions in many Austrians. And I don't know if any of you read Hitler's Mein Kampf, you know, this famous uh, work which now had been, been published again, uh, annotated edition in Germany. And in the beginning, when Hitler went to Vienna as a young man to become what he thought he would become a painter, well, we all know that he was a very miserable painter, so, uh, he met for the first time Galician Jews. That was even before the First World War, because there were quite a lot of them emigrating to Austria, to Vienna. Most of them stayed in Vienna. And this picture of these strangely dressed people with side locks and with strange hats and kaftans, uh, he writes about this in, in Mein Kampf, that this made him an anti-Semite. Which, of course, was not true, because at the time when he was in Vienna, he had actually had quite good contacts with Jews. It was mostly Jews, mainly Jews who were buying his pictures. And as I said, his pictures are real miserable. So, I mean, he, he should be thankful, you know, that he found anybody who bought them. So even today, for many observers in the West, anything connected with Galicia is first and foremost Jewish, especially Galician literature and culture. But the perception of this has radically changed. While up until the Second World War, Jewish Galicia, the shtetl, with its exotically dressed inhabitants, with the side locks, the fur hats, and the kaftans, evoked almost only negative feelings, rejection, often revulsion, and was associated with backwardness, dirt, obscurantism, corruption, etc. Now, two or three generations later, that same world arouses lively interest and deep sympathies. All of a sudden, the Jewish shtetl, the Jewish districts of bigger cities, for instance, Kazimierz in Krakow, I don't know if anybody of you has been there, it's a bit of a Hollywood version of, of, a, of a shtetl, really, so Disneyland, uh, are seen as a wondrous mixture of sentimental anatevka folklore, the schmaltzy strain of klezmer, and a Jewish wit and wisdom. Jewish Galicia has completely lost its negative image. And this is not only true for Jewish Galicia, but it's true for Galicia on the whole. Because the perception of Galicia, while it existed as a crown land, was mostly negative. Galicia meant being far, being strange, being dirty, whatever. All negative stereotypes. While after it ceased to exist, it took few years, but now we have an entirely different picture, of course, of Galicia. Now it's mostly positive. Now it's nostalgic. 